what is up animal squad and i'm gonna start off today's video with saying i'm so sorry that i did not post last week um and i'm really behind and honestly i just forgot um to post and i'm sorry for the background noises because my baby cousin is here and and for the litter box right there <laughs> um but yeah we're back in the bathroom where i first filmed my video for my first video a little bit about me if you haven't uh, haven't watched that video i suggest you go check that out and if you don't know leo my bunny there is i also have a video of a meet my line head rabbit leo so you can go check those out if you don't know who leo is but anyway he's my bunny that's all i'm gonna say um and he's a line head but yeah today uh, we are going to do Oh, why you should never buy your kid a bunny for an Easter present. And I know I'm a kid and I have a bunny, but I frankly do take care of him. And I do take care, I care for him and I buy him all of his food and stuff and I bring him his treats. I bought his cage, I bought his, I made his bowl actually for his food. Um, but yeah, and I feed him and I clean their cages. So yeah, but let's just get all started because I'm gonna run out of time. Um, but number one, this is gonna be ten reasons why you should never buy uh, your bunny, uh, your kid a bunny for an Easter present. So one number one is they don't really realize the cost of a bunny. Um, because bunnies are really expensive, and I know that it's I, I mean I was I made a cardboard box for a house for my bunny, and I made it out of cardboard, um, which could be a good home. Not a good home, but like a little playhouse for a bunny. But yeah. Um, number two is they just don't really like to be hold, and little kids just want to hold them and grab them. And if they, if you do hold it wrong, then they could die or have life threatening, threatening injuries. Um, or if they drop them. And number three, I'm sorry if I'm going by these a little quick, but number three is bunnies have really sharp claws and really sharp teeth. Um, and I've learned that the hard way. Um, yeah, my bunny has really, really sharp teeth. And, yeah, I got bitten by him um, many times, many, many times, and scratched by him. And they grow. Um, yeah, they just grow. And number four, I believe, buddy's teeth never stop growing, so they automatically have to have toys and toys and toys and toys. And they destroy them a lot. And number five is... The biggest space. People don't realize how big of a space a bunny needs and how much, um, how much space a bunny needs to run around. And they need to be there like two hours a day, or at least two hours alone, like playtime and stuff. And the number six is a lot of bunnies need, want your attention and love to play with you. Um, and I'm saying not saying that for all, because Leo hates me to little bits. But I love him, and I mean, he's acting really good right now. Um, but yeah, a lot of bunnies love attention, and you need to be with them a lot. Um, and if they're not there, and number seven, P bunnies are bred a lot for um, Easter just to sell, and a lot of them die. Frankly, um, if you get them, then they will die in like a couple of weeks, and, and that's not all. But like, yeah, they die in a couple of weeks. And number seven, your kid will probably get bored of it. Um, because I remember I thought having a rabbit's going to be so fun. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is really boring. He's not doing anything. Um, yeah, he just plays on his own, really. He doesn't want my attention at all. Um, but yeah, number eight, I believe. Yeah, eight. Number eight is bunnies are just a lot of work. And they don't realize how stinky. Like, their bunnies poop don't stink um but their pee does so um how stinky they are and how expensive they are to get neutered and number nine is i know bunnies are so stinking and adorable but really they leave hair everywhere especially if you have a long haired one they leave hair everywhere like um i probably have a lot of hair on me right now um, but yeah, they leave hair everywhere, so unless you have, like, a good brush and stuff. And last but not least, 
bunnies hate loud noises. Um, especially with lion heads. If you got a lion head, they um they are get more scared easily than other bunnies. Um, and kids really have loud noises. And I mean, they're just not really the pet. Make sure to research any animal, not just a bunny, just any animal that you get before you um, get it. And because that's just like a life lesson, life lesson for everybody, is that you have to research your animals and have to do your research and a care guide before you get a bunny. Watch a lot of videos because I watched videos and it helped me. And I read a lot of books about bunnies and I love them as two bits. But anyway, Animal Squad, sorry this wasn't a very important video. Well, it was very important to me because I just doesn't, don't really like when people buy them for Easter presents. Um, but I bet after this, people there is going to be so much money sold this Easter. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have liked this video and have an amazing day. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button to be a part of the Animal Squad. And I'm frankly not sure when I post now because I'm supposed to post every week. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a um, big fat thumbs up. And join the Animal Squad. Hit the notification bar so you won't miss another video like this. So bye.